But how? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. All right, Homelander and uh, season two of The Boys is coming out. So I'm trying to like rewatch season one, but I'm real busy. And ah, oh, shit. My kitchen's a goddamn disaster because I haven't, I'm not living here yet. I'm still trying to, that, oof. I'll just try to avoid that. Um, everything here is clean though. All these dishes are clean because I own a dishwasher and I understand how to use it. If you hear music, that's in the basement. I'm breaking in a set of towers from Fluence. So, I bought these and I'm a fucking idiot because I forgot to buy sour cream and I love sour cream. So, what we need to do, we're gonna make tortillas anyway. I've got steak and chicken I need to cook. I've got this Instant Pot for rice. Wow, that almost slapped me in the nether regions. That would have been a definite negative point of my night. I'm trying to figure out if I... I don't know how I set things up yet. Like I could plug this in over there, or I could plug it in over there. I could plug it in over here. I think I plugged it in over here last time. This island only has a power switch, power plug there. I also like to cut vegetables and stuff here because I can roll the garbage pail. And there's just so much shit. Okay, it's, we're fine. C cooking videos in the house are gonna be, the word is manic. Hold on, where's my cat? Shubers, I don't know, she's she's hiding in her hidey holes, I'm sure. Uh, you know, th this place needs a light switch in here. I bought all this macaroni and cheese, I'm not making that, I need rice. R, wow, it's not that dark, oh, there it is, okay. I'm just not used to seeing things yet, or in, in the way that the, the light. I'm not used to the echo of my voice. That's another thing that sort of bothers me a little bit. Uh, not a lot of like just enough rice. Uh, we have well water here, so it's probably cleaner than the water that was coming out. Of my, in fact, I know for a fact it's cleaner than the water coming out of my tap back at the apartment because I have one of those parts per million testers, and it's like. Pfft. All right, dropping that, hitting rice. Gotta salt that a little bit. I haven't actually done anything. Like, you, I, this is old school Z Cooks. L little, little bit of salt in the rice. Jesus. Jesus. I'm gonna make some of these mushrooms. I got this pepper that's not looking great, so this is gonna get in there. I don't have any onion either. I'm fucking, mm. Must I have one of those things? I do have many types of cheese, raviolis. God, I may have to stop my ice maker. It is pushing, it's like it's a lot. It's a lot now. Spinach doesn't really go. Elio's pizza doesn't really go. It is perfectly at zero, by the way, which is what I think I, think I have it set to. Yeah, wow. I mean, <clears throat> this is a 17-year-old refrigerator. Performing. I, I could actually chop here if I... So you can't put a non-stick pan inside another non-stick pan because then you'll scratch the bottom of the non-stick pan. This is no good. So... It sounds like my refrigerator's toking on a bowl right now. I think that's the drain from the ice maker. Multiple garbage pail discount. <clears throat> yes, I know it says recycling, but it's not. I've decided that I make more garbage than I do recycling, so the place that was for garbage and recycling is now both recycling. My fucking long hair. Oh, pasta, please come to America so I can cut my hair off. I just want you to see it. I want you to see it in its full glory, babe. Just, just for like a day. I want you to run your fingers through my hair and go, that's nice, and then I'm gonna chop it the fuck off. Sound like there's a fucking uh, uh, Italian dance club down in my basement, which is kind of interesting. Okay. So we have 
That's gonna be big enough to, to do the tortillas to like soften them up or to warm them up. The way I like to do this, my cousin sort of taught me this. And just drive down, you drive down the pepper, trying to avoid hitting the seeds. Cut out those white bits too. Now since I only have one pepper, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take the bottom and I can take some of the top as well. That's gotta be Geschaffelstein. It's playing downstairs. You think the YouTube algorithm hears me say Geschaffelstein and then is like, oh, he admitted to it. Because they're, they're doing character recognition of my voice for like closed captioning. Thin strips. That's too thick, thinner than that. Oh God, am I gonna toss this in the garbage? I feel like I'm gonna toss it in the garbage. Just give this a fucking random chiz up just so they're not big. I'm gonna have to see, fry this up. I don't know where it is. I, I still didn't apparently bring my fucking, my carbon steel pan, the one that I use. I, I, I specifically got it at the apartment out. I went, oh, I need my pan and it's not here. So what the fuck happened to my pan? Did it come here and evaporate? Did someone seal it on the way? Cause it's worth, it's got the previous meals, Zeos is cooked and therefore it's like when you buy a girl's underwear. It's like you get that for reasons, but maybe they steal my pan for reasons because no one wants my underwear since it has been worn since 2018. Get it? The pepper work is always the longest work, but notice I have the rice going because when you pressure cook rice, when it's done, it's just gonna sit there. Being, oh shit, I need to lit it. What did I do with the lid? I just got to a boil. Um, I don't have any cheap butter. I'm so, this is like, mm, this is real good butter. This is like butter you just eat. Where is that going? Where, where are you going with that liquid? You know, I'm gonna take like, Put that a little bit back here. Okay, I'm gonna need... You know what, we'll use this. And then I'll put the big, what's it called, in it afterwards. We'll fry up some mush. That suction is a thing, by the way. Anything else I could add to these? Lemons, garlic. I got the hot sauce for fucking weeks. All right. Gently close that. If you don't gently close it, it freaks out. I'm a little bit pissy that this stovetop only has one giant burner. I don't get it. But the big one's in the middle. And then you can kind of fit four pans around it. I would almost prefer if they were like these little tiny ones and then they're a little bit bigger, tiny ones, a little bit bigger and then the biggest one. Make them all big. G give me all the big. Zeos likes it all big all the time. I, I, even if I had a small fucking pan, like that would be the only reason to go like with a small one, but I'll live with it. Strips. Strips, and we don't want to murder these either. We want to leave a little bit of a crunch. I could leave a couple raw, and we can go with like very light. I'm gonna, you know, I think I'm gonna cook the mushrooms first. Here's a note. When it's starting to go, push it, and it'll pop that up, and then it, it's good to go. You save like 60 seconds on that pressure build. Don't do that again. Don't do that again. It did that yesterday. We were occasionally like sparked, like try to light up the thing. We we're on high. We need to add some, a little bit of oil. Avocado oil. What do I want to go with? Ooh, you know what? Stop. I'm eating this stuff. Ghee. Basically we're going to be eating the fat. So you may as well go with a really good flavored fat. This is Himalayan pink 
salt, ghee. If you've never heard of ghee, and the reason I was confused by ghee is my sister bought me this, and it's vanilla maple chai ghee, and I had no idea what the fuck that is, but apparently it's for like, it's, it's oil you'd use for pancakes, and it's vanilla maple chai, so they could flavor the fuck out of clarified butter, which is what this is. So that's non-clarified butter, and this is, get off there, scrape the sides. This is very clarified butter, which means it has a very, very, very high smoke point. Can I put this here for a second and just let it melt? A little bit of condu conduction between the pan and the spoon to melt what's on the spoon so it slides off. Is that what I'm trying to do here? There we go, like that. Like that. Uh, also, Crisco, which is basically vegetable shortening. See, it did it again. I don't have to, don't, don't, just don't. Don't, stove, just don't. This does not need to be on high anymore, however, so let's lower that down. We're definitely at temperature. Uh, these mushrooms appear to be mostly washed. No, there's definitely dirt on there. This sink got fixed, and this is stuff that has, this is stuff that's clean, that I hand wash, because I think those will melt in the thing. And this is stuff that needs to be loaded into said dishwasher. I'm gonna wash a couple of these. Probably gonna have to chop them up a little bit too. I mean, we're going into like, I have to get onions. I have to get onions. We're going into fajitas, so I don't need like a pile of mushrooms. Although I would love an onion. God, I'd love a fucking onion. Okay. Let that drain for a second. I need to put this back in the fridge. See, I'm getting better at knowing where my stuff is. Honestly, you just gotta go with your first instinct when you're like, you know what this needs right here? This needs to be my bag of Ziploc bags, and that's where the fuck they are now. Even if it makes more sense to put them elsewhere, your first instinct is where you need to put it. Let someone else in your future yell at you for, where the fuck did you put these here? And you're like, Ugh. That's potatoes. I could actually make a couple with potatoes instead of rice. We are definitely still we're gonna start smoking this a little bit. Now we don't wanna take wet mushrooms. This is when Alton Brown would whip out the salad spinner. I do not have a salad spinner. Although I can now fit a salad spinner in my life if I really wanted to. And there's no point in putting these anywhere but next to the sink you're gonna to use to drain them in. So that's where those will stay for the rest of time. I used that yesterday, it's fine. Mushrooms are sponges. Make sure anything you do to this mushroom is something you want to have happen to your food. And I guess I'll chop it up after the fact, since I just tossed it in a hot pan. Let those absorb. I'm not gonna salt that. Uh, we need to cook meat. Meat. God damn it. Here you go. You started leaking. You're like a really nice, expensive piece of beef, by the way. The vegetables can sit in the side. Everything can sit in the side except for the meat. The meat will get dry if you let it just sit there. I bought some uh, Purdue Harvest Land Free Range Chicken. I put everything in the nonstick pan. Just put everything in the nonstick pan. Less to wash. I'm, I'm mathing. I'm, I'm figuring out exactly how much uh, waste and dirt. Like, I like running my dishwasher, but I feel like running my dishwasher is going to ruin a lot of my pots and pans just be from repetitive one hour cycles of intense hot water. Am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong. Did anybody here have a nonstick pan they really liked and then they washed it like 200 times and it's like all of a sudden it doesn't work anymore? Is that life? Is that what life is like? Okay, look at this. Just, just, can we just appreciate a moment of fucking 
using pro it's propane and not natural gas, which I thought I wouldn't prefer, but my word, look at this. Look at this like perfect amount of heat. I've owned this. Here's the thing. I've owned this pan and I've cooked mushrooms before, and it could never cook like this. Look at the evenness. Look at how everything's bubbling. There's no hot spotting. Ah. Can I recommend? No one's gonna watch this. I fixed the links in the description. No one ever does in cooking videos. But if I could recommend, I don't like when pressure cookers make noise. That is a bad idea. Look online. I'm sure Amazon has one for like like a single propane just burner. And just sit like a camping stove and put, on, put it next to your electric stove and just use it for this sort of shit. Oh. Oh. Trying to keep these from like piling up. And I'm not gonna finish those in here. I'm gonna add this to it. Give this like two or three minutes. Just, just to saw. I still want a little bit of a crisp, but just, just. All right. Steak is here, and I'm. It's a thick bastard, so I'm probably gonna have to. I may have to put this in the toaster oven. Unless I cut it into slices. Unless I cut the raw one into slices. I think I'm done with this cutting board for vegetables, so. Move this over. I'm going for speed now. Come on. Yeah, the, the thinner this is also, the faster I can just blast it into a hot pan. This is a nice piece of meat. I think this might be filet mignon. I'm not joking. This might be those pieces of filet I got from Costco last month, or two months ago, and I'm like, I fed my cat filet mignon. And she was a bitch about it. This is just a mess of fat. Yeah, this, is, this might be really expensive beef. But it started, I took it out of the frost, and it started dripping, and I had like roast beef yesterday, and I can't just eat another steak today, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a turf and turf uh, burritos. Everything's so quiet. Like, do you hear how quiet my cooking is now? And the music in the basement's just like perfect. It's like hauntingly perfect music coming through the floor. Oh, the vents is probably why it sounds so... It's probably echoing through the vents. All right, this needs to be washed. I don't need that. Uh, that needs to come out. This... Oh, it's so quiet. It's so calm. It's so calm. Maybe fucking Thermador does like a thing with the burner. Oh, it's so nice. So I'm gonna have rice, cheese, vegetables, meat, and then I don't have salsa, but I have plenty of hot sauces. So I'm gonna splash with some hot sauce. And that should be good. We should be good with just that amount of disgusting meal. Um, another get another one out just keep getting out you have a dishwasher now you don't need to worry about conservative dish. just get it out i will have to re re oh my god there's a lot of fat on these holy shit the fuck look how much fat is on these i can't eat i mean i can't eat it but i'm not good this is gonna be fucking five minutes of trimming I don't know if I like working directly next to the clicking pressure washer either. Pressure washer, that's what exactly what it is. Go clean my car with that. Oh my God, this is messed up. I wanna cut this into strips too, and it's just gonna... Have you seen The Boys season one? Because it's such a good show. Like I, even, I had it written on my calendar when I saw the, the promo for it. Ah, bomb has been planted. And now I have The Boys Season 2 written on my calendar, and that's coming up in a couple days. 
Today is September the 1st, and I didn't put out a yard sale video, and then I realized I didn't even film a yard sale video, and then I realized, shit, do I even have enough boxes for a yard sale? So I should probably do a main channel video pertaining to the yard sale from a basement. That's sort of like a, hey, guess what, everybody, the move went well. Three? Three is probably going to be enough to match that amount of beef. Yeah, toss that. Now, I could release the pressure on this rice right now, but I'm not gonna because why? Let it cook more. Let it, let it, let it settle. God, there's so much fucking fat. Get the fuck off of there. This is, this is ridiculous. This is like, what the hell was this chicken's problem? This is what a chicken that has my diet probably looks like. Just don't cut your fucking hand off, Zeos. Okay. If you have a Ziploc bag, by the way, like see that fly? He wants this chicken so bad. We're gonna deny him. We're gonna take this bloody bag from the beef. We're gonna drop the chicken in it. The chicken scraps. We're just gonna give it a zip. And you can fuck right off, little fly. I gotta get my vegetables out of there. I don't only I didn't want them softening up. One. This we're gonna we're gonna lay some spice down on on this chicken. The beef is probably just gonna get a little bit of salt. Maybe some soy. Nah, not some soy. It's not the flavor palette I'm going for. What else we got? Big. Vegetables have to come out and get dumped here. Ah, oh, look, look at the perfection. I literally forgot about them and they're still perfect. This has chicken. Don't, don't, don't fuck it up. Because beef doesn't need to be cooked as hot as... You could touch beef first, then chicken, but not beef, chicken first. You should never just combine meat. Don't combine your meats. But for the love of God, if you had to cut them in an order, like pork needs to go to 160, but beef only needs to go to 135. So you don't want to get pork on your beef. You can get beef on your pork because you know you're going to murder it up to 160. But you can't go the other way around. So this needs to be hand washed. You don't dishwasher nice knives. What else am I doing? I'm wrapping up that chicken. Uh... Take all your Ziploc bags out of their ba their boxes, by the way. You gain so much more room, and as long as you have a semblance of coordination, you can keep that from getting a fucking mess. Can I do this without getting chicken all over my fucking hands? Oh, come on, baby. Two more. I'll probably make some sort of chicken. Actually, will I even... Should I freeze these now? I got pork chops in here and hot dogs and tofu. I don't have tofu. I have my friend Tofu messaging me. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. There's things happening, things that I can't talk about. Ha ha, now this is a disgusting chickeny mess. I really don't, like usually I would just bag this up, throw it in my hallway, and then take it out to the garbage pail, but my hallway doesn't exist, and there's nothing to bag up. Salt for that. Spice for this. Red pepper flake. For the meat. A little bit of salt. And these are just getting a little bit of salt. All beef needs salt. Just just accept this fact, people. I hear kill a kill going on. Maybe a little bit of pepper for this too. And I think I'm only gonna do one side because it's so thin. That should cover it. 
see what this mess does. That's a good sound. And I'm gonna throw it season side down in case I decide to season both sides. Because Lord knows I am it actually browned on the outside. Um, we're probably not gonna cook those at the same time for, again, chicken plus beef reasons. That's not gonna take long at all. We're gonna need another cutting board for finished things. What else can I season this with? You're all yelling at the screen, I'm sure. Cumin! I love cumin. Do I have Saison? I do have Saison. I have a lot of cumin. Do I don't know if cumin's what I want to put on this. Do I want cumin on this? Hold on. Fuck it. Let's just sprinkle some cumin on there. I, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I don't use enough cumin in my life. Garlic powder, paprika, orange peel, garam masala, cayenne pepper. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Uh, plastic fork. This is why Zeos keeps plastic forks. If I could do that, stab my thing. Now, if you let it go a little bit longer on one side, you can go even less on the other side. Okay. As you should be. See, I don't like typing a lot of time, and swipe freaks out a lot of, so I just like, I yell words. I'm a talker. I'm a talker. I'm gonna have to eat every fucking chicken in this place. See, there's no, there's no hot spots. Like usually I'd be moving it to the center, which is the hotter than the rest. Perfect. Perfectly soft and crispy. Mmm. Mmm. This one's real thin, I'm taking this one off. Yeah, these two are real thin, they're done. You've got a little bit more girth, as do you, but you're done. Because sitting on the, sitting there is also cooking them. The only one that's really like a mess is this one. It's a fucking puddle of Looks like something that happens after a teleporter accident. Yeah, Ooh, pasta. Pasta and tofu. KK. Uh, okay, that's... I'm gonna move this. Uh, we shouldn't need to add any other thing to that. Oh yeah, just get it in there, buddy. You're rinsed off. This is so much easier not to worry about washing these things because it's just gonna be washed. Although I have found myself just washing shit. Little strips of chicken. I think I call these chicken strips. This one didn't get cut properly at fucking all. Jesus, was I drunk? Let's concern ourselves with the cheeses for a second. Cheeses, plural, because I bought this monstrosity. There's our sauces, cilantro, mystery batch, good tidings, Thai food, honey habanero. This is actually very hot, hot sauce. Let's take 
Check this out. Um, so cheese, I've got seriously sharp kabat. Just a, mm, cabot. And if I think to myself, what a wonderful world, I think, yeah, boy. Actually, that's probably not the thing I wanna use. What I wanna use is a plate. Fuck off, fly. So that cheese doesn't go flying. I do need to cut, actually, I think I'll grate this too. That's my chicken. This is gonna sound like it's gonna send you to the hospital, and I know, because I sent my mother to the hospital with food poisoning, but the secret to good food is usually getting it just cooked. Like not like guaranteed cooked, burn it till it's 165. White meat chicken is 143. If you sous vide, 143. So you gotta go a little higher than that because you're not spending the time to sous vide for 90 minutes. But, but don't try to take white meat chicken to 165. That's fucking suicide for chicken. That's chicken side. Don't, don't be a chicken cider. Stack two or three. Soon. I'm just gonna stack this back to the shape it kinda was and get my strips out of it. I like to see a little bit of color. Just a little, yeah, a little bit of pink, that's all. I'm not asking for much. Just, just just, so it looks like it was beef still, and not brown, you know, dog meat. That's perfect. That was my fingernail, ooh. That's, that's undercooked. Let's see, what else we got? That's undercooked. Oh, I was probably fine, honestly, but. I wanted to catch him, but I was gonna punch the frog in the ass. Mmm. Okay. Now these are thigh meat. So these have to go to 165. Don't fuck these up. And you could abuse them a little bit more than normal chicken breast because thigh meat just doesn't give a fuck. It's fucks, it's give a fuck ratio is much lower. Actually keeping this by the heat, just keeping them warm. No Chewbacca, no, evil. No. All right, back to my cheese. I'm on my second knife. I don't want to wash, well, knives have to be washed. You can't dishwasher knives, so. I'm gonna police the knives at least. Cause I'm just cutting a fucking I was gonna use the whole block and sh just shred on the whole block, but fuck that. This needs to go back in the drawer. Um, the blue ones are freezer bags. You'll note I'm still in the lowest possible temperature this burner will go, and it's just perfect. It's always perfect. Uh, oh, actually, we'll fit and we'll close. I was, I thought it wouldn't close. I'm probably gonna finish the entire thing of American cheese because I, I like American cheese, all right? You got all yell about how it's not even real cheese sauce. What percentage of cheese is in it? American cheese, wow. Okay, first of all, the ingredients, it starts with American cheese, which is a little weird considering it is American cheese. So that shouldn't be an ingredient. You know, you don't look at the ingredients in cheese and usually see American cheese first. Shit, this broke. Which is making it very, very scary to hold. I don't like losing my finger. I have like weird nightmares about cheese graters. And I know they sell the ones that are, oh, it's actually crumbling apart. And I was holding too far back initially. Ah, this is very small now. Mm. 
You eating spiders, Chewbacca? Please don't. That is a very small piece of cheese. Well, let's see how um, seriously sharp this is. Wow. That was an aggressive cheese. And for the ooey gooey meltiness. Yes, you can do this. Did you know you can do this? Do this to the American cheese too. Just rub that shit on your cheese grater. See, that's why you're ruining it. You had perfectly good cheddar. Yeah, I know. But it's, it's never gonna be the gooey ooeyness that I need in my life. That's a couple more. Even if it breaks off, who cares? Perfect. Right, I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. Half slices of American cheese are just as good as full slices of Amer American cheese. That's not where that goes. That's the water drawer. That's the cheese drawer. That's the pork chops drawer. There's a lot of cheese, by the way, like a lot. We've lost pressure in that. This should be real close to done. Yeah, we got a nice browning effect going on. What's that effect called? The, Mal the Millard effect? I forget what Alton Brown calls it. I'm gonna shut that off. I'm gonna drop these pieces of beef that weren't quite done over there, like separate from the chicken. Jesus Christ, Ryan's writing me a book. That, this, the tortillas have to be opened. There's only 16 of them in there, holy fuck. Again, I do wish upon a star that I had sour cream because I love sour cream. Sour creme is my, it's my, it just brings me joy in this world. And I, I saw it at BJ's wholesale and I was like, oh, I could buy that. Because I love sour cream. Like, nah, what am I gonna mix with sour cream? And then I bought the fucking things afterwards. Like cleaning this, normally a nightmare. Now, dishwasher. It's an amazing invention. Okay, I'm gonna take, uh, some of these are still a little bit big. I may cut these up further. Also to just check to make sure that I'm good. Oh no, Zeos, don't get cheese on your chicken. Don't get chicken on your cheese. No, this is perfect. That's fine. That's, that's fine. Move the beef over. You're a fat boy. What are you doing? Let's double check that guy. Uh, fat boy's going back in for a second. All these other little guys, they're all small. And they will continue cooking. I really should have it heated up anyway, because I'm gonna try to put the uh, tortillas in here and melt the cheese on top, which may not work. I may need a lid big enough to cover this. And I don't think I own a big enough lid for this. It's like a 14 inch pan. Double check my chicken. I'm gonna double choke my chicken. See, it's dark meat too. You know, that's another thing. Like I'm looking at it and it's like, it's a little bit pink, but it's not translucent. Not the character from the boys, just see-through. So a little bit pink is, is okay. It, it shouldn't become pure white or brown. Yeah, even that one that's super thin has a little bit of pink in it. Mmm. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I'm calling this. I'm calling my chicken. I'm calling all chickens. Chewbacca, you want some chicken? Should know, thanks. The 
fuck is playing in the basement? Sounds like that scene from the burbs. All right, so now the chicken's dealt with, I'm gonna flip the beef, which has been brutalized by heat. Now, I shouldn't have to clean this out because why would you? That could, I could only benefit from being tossed. Yes, Baba Chubers. Okay, so we got beef, we got chicken, we got a flour tortilla. Get off my, you fucking fly bastard. Mm. We got a, a gentle mixture of cheddar and American so we can get some nice gooey action. I am gonna turn this off, by the way. It'll be enough for like two or three of them, that's fine. We're gonna open up our rice. I love the sound. This can't be dishwashed, but it can be placed where it will drip. Great, just drop that anywhere. This only had cheese on it, I could wipe this off, put it back in the drawer. I need a, a server for rice. I guess that, you know what, just uh, stop wasting utensils, Azios. Oh yeah. Give it a stir because a lot of times it doesn't blend like anything you put in there like that butter. Mmm. All right, I need um, my faithful rag from the apartment. I'm gonna put a, a dollop of this on there because this is hot rice on top of cheese, which will help melt the cheese real good. In fact, I could put you back here. So now we have rice. Let's pick our, our protein. It's just like I've made a chipotle in my own home. That's, yes, see that's, that's red. Let me leave that on the pan for a second. Good, good, good. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I didn't chop up the mushrooms, so I failed but a couple more mushrooms in there. And now I need an extraction plate. Well, the one I used has a cheese on it. Actually, I'm gonna get my slightly larger plates, which are the ones I bought when I moved into the house. That look like they're stoneware, but they're not. They're Acrylic. Okay. Okay, don't melt. Holy shit, that's hot. Holy shit, that was hot. Okay, now we have the exorbitantly fun time of rolling this. I'm gonna squeeze tight. I ripped that. Oh, oh I didn't add the sauce. Let me try the sauce first. Honey habanero. Are you still running? Off. All right, everybody. Mmm. Could you use sour cream? But still. Sticky rice, cheese, vegetables, could use onion too. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Now I'm gonna turn off my head cam, read a book. Wow, this has got, this has got it by the way. This has got it. I'm gonna go, oh my God, that was a lot. Just specifically for wiping down the cutting board. Oh. Oh no, this mushroom that is covered in that hot sauce is just falling out of my thing. It's a shame. It's a fucking shame. 
So I wish I could fold the ends, but I'm never that good. Mmm. The beef is a little thick. Mmm. That's what she said. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. I gotta take some pictures for the Cooking Consortium Patreon or the behind the scenes telegram chat for the Cooking Consortium. Hmm. There hasn't been posts on the Patreon, Chewbacca, for the Z Cooks since 2018. But the telegram still exists. No way to make a picture. All right, my shit's broken. There we go. So everyone, thank you for stopping by. If you'd like to see more of this, please tune in every three weeks. Three to six weeks. Ready, Baba? Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs>